What is up guys? Daddy is here. Today we're gonna talk about this is like definitely more mindset oriented. Um, this is not my actual house. This is my boy Edgar's house. I'm not wearing Ooh, not, not wearing a shirt, but peep the CK. Okay, um, that's the video. We're just talking about mindset and kind of how, like how you can force yourself to level up, uh, like level up uh, your, your income streams, your wealth, your like financial situation, and look level at like up. okay, okay. Why are you leveling up? <laughs> yo, you need to level up if you want to win. You got you got something to tell my fans, bro? Bro, you need to level up. Why you ain't winning? You ain't making no moves. Level up, make that money. Let's go. <laughs> Motivation guys from the man Edgar himself. He's a great buddy. He's like he makes music on Spotify He's actually like doing pretty well, um, but that's the video guys. We're talking about mindset and It's not necessarily dropshipping, but this definitely applies to dropshipping So um, I actually just talked about it and then I'm filming the intro because like and now at least I know what I talked about in the video uh, The course is closing soon 25% off always plug if that's what you're looking for more You know strategize more actual like strategy and like learning the process and cycle for starting and scaling your dropshipping site Literally everything from like how to edit Instagram photos in Lightroom that video was actually going up tonight. That's the video, guys. The, the course is going to link is in the description. Take care, enjoy. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Oh, what am I talking about in this video? I don't think I'm even gonna go into like too much drop shipping stuff. I'm actually gonna sit down. I don't have a shirt on. Um, that's because I'm going out. Actually, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter at all. But what I do want to talk about in this video is kind of how you can force yourself to to keep like leveling up. In a sense if okay and that's kind of like a weird way to put it but like this is how you kind of like grow your 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 monthly your monthly income without like relying on one like revenue stream right and how you can keep forcing yourself to grow your revenue streams and essentially just like just increase them and not have to rely on one or two uh, main revenue streams like if you were working like a nine-to-five job or something like that right so the first thing you want to do, especially like with you guys getting into drop shipping, right, is you want to automate like all all your processes, okay, like everything you want. Like I showed you guys how to like find a virtual assistant a VA um, in one of my old videos. <laughs> Check that out. Always plug. But if you don't know what to do, you want to automate everything, everything, okay, so that eventually you're at a point where you only need to look at your websites maybe like one hour a week, if if that, okay. Like you you should you should be able to find virtual assistants, train them, just like tell them what they need to do. And then move forward from there, like like move on to like bigger and better better things. Okay. So the first thing you want to automate your first drop shipping site. Okay. After you've automated your first drop shipping site, fuck, I lost the train of thought. This is where the cuts come in. So after you automate your first drop shipping site, you want to like what I what I did is I started more drop shipping sites. Okay. And the thing like it's like if you have your first successful drop shipping site, right? What a lot of people do is like they, they would they would celebrate and they they they'd, they'd, they'd relax, right? Say say you up uh, say you automate your first site. Okay. You don't have to spend any time on it anymore. Um, and it's making like decent money, right? You're, you're you're making you know a couple thousand a week, and like in profit, in profit. And you start you start relaxing, right? You don't you don't want to you don't want to get comfortable with where with where you're at. Um, you, like what I try and do, right, is once something is automated and my hands are like off, I don't do any grunt work or anything like that anymore. I try and pretend that that source of income or revenue doesn't exist, right? So what you want to do is you kind of just want to block that off like in your head. So like once you, oh, someone's calling me. Oh, it's my mom. All right, pause. Sorry about that, guys. My mom did just call me. Uh, we are working on getting a supercar. Trying to figure that out. Uh, 19 year old training cop supercar. Little credit history. We got, we got a problem. We got a problem there, right? And um, oh, rule number one, guys. Do like ne never, ever buy a car in cash full like like even if you have the the money don't do that okay you can make that money work for you you can invest it you can like move it elsewhere instead of just dumping it all into a piece of metal okay um all right that was, that was, that was okay back to back back to back to automating your pro okay so first drop shipping site you want to get it all automated right once you get that all automated you want to like move on to another drop shipping site or another industry okay which is like what i did and this is how you can scale like your own your own income okay where like i, t I, I help you guys like try and scale your drop shipping sites and all that kind of good stuff but other than that that you want to be scaling your income in different industries different you know different different revenue streams okay and the way to like force yourself to make this happen is basically eliminating like 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 pretend you don't own any of the actual businesses that are automated okay if you have two dropshipping sites that are automated and say you're making like you know 5000 in profit um, a month from each okay something like that pretend you actually don't have that $10,000 that's coming in each month from those two sites all right pretend they don't exist now what do you have to do you have to make something else happen like you have like you're forcing yourself to get creative and make more money essentially right so that's that's literally what you got to do you got to like force yourself like eliminate whatever you have um like automated and pretend it doesn't exist okay pretend it's not there pretend like none of it's there get creative force yourself to make more money 
uh, in different industries, like whether, whether that's like another dropshipping site or moving into, you know, another industry. If you have, you know, connections in, you know, software, like something like that, that's, that's literally what I did. And I'm just trying to like enlighten you guys. Uh, just you know, always drop it, always drop in that value. But honestly, the, the thing, the thing about dropshipping, right, is again, it's so easy to get into that, you know, a lot of people get discouraged when they like hop in, they start and they like, they mess up. And um, the thing about it, like, you just got to experiment, guys. It's all about experimentation and you're testing different ads, different ad copy, different influencers, different, you know, ad sets if you're like scaling with paid ads or anything like that. But I lost my fucking train of thought. God damn. Wait, wait, wait. But this is a shorter video, guys. Again, there, the Edgar just ran up the stairs. Uh, there's my boy, Wen, <laughs> like ama amazing videographer, content photo guy, wait, wait, whatever. We'll call yeah, he's looks he looks good right now. We're about to go to a fair, guys, and we're dressing like it's Coachella up in this bitch. All right, that's the, like I I, I did, like I know the video is not too long, guys, but I wanted to get something out there and hopefully like kind of like show you guys what you can start doing once you, once you get your first site going. Because again, you don't want to be an employee for your own business. Okay, you're not you're not like an entrepreneur if you're an, if if you're an employee for your own business that you started, right? That's why you see like all these mom and pop stores, right? You can call yourself an entrepreneur if you open up your own store, like more like brick more like if you open up your own restaurant, right? And you're working there. Yeah, you're an entrepreneur, but you're also an employee for your own business. You're still stuck there working a 9 to 5, but except for a boss it, it's for you, right? And like that might feel gratifying, but ultimately you want to free your time from your businesses, which I think is like the true, you know, key to, to happiness and wealth and all that all that good stuff right but what you got to learn to do is automate your processes and then move on start more stuff get create like that's that's especially with you guys it's so easy to make a site and so easy to just make a bunch of sites in different industries and like test and target and it's just all about like the amount of time and work and like grit that you put in and just staying consistent with that but then once you have that you know you automate it you hire VAs for every single store and if, if you have good VAs after your fourth store, you can pay them to get them doing your other stores, okay? So you can eventually like build up a bunch of sites with the, the same, you know, 10 virtual assistants managing all of them and because they know what to do, right? You don't have to worry about them messing up um, or just like completely like fucking up like a new a new website, okay? So that's the video, guys. Pretty short, but this is, this is definitely more mindset oriented, but this is kind of like getting a glimpse of like how I look at my businesses, right? I don't touch my dropshipping websites. I got VAs doing that and I pretend that income doesn't exist, okay? I have different like business bank accounts under my like personal LLC and every kind of industry goes into a different account so I like it separately and it helps with taxes and stuff like that too but it forces me to be like alright this money here doesn't exist because it's automated like I personally didn't put in any work on that like this month or whatever so I'm gonna pretend that doesn't exist what can I do now to actually start something else and make more money right that's what you gotta like look at it as and that's basically that's basically the gist of it guys all right so leave a like comment subscribe i respond to all your guys's comments uh i will see you guys in the next video and there is some news coming on the supercar soon so that'll be fun that'll be that'll be a fun vlog all right i'll see you guys in the next video take care guys peace